and good morning guys and welcome to the show we've been going for a little while we left Grand Forks and it was still a little bit dark and now we have just gone through Fargo North Dakota now we can bump up our speed a little bit again because we're outside outside of Fargo and we're back up to 70 miles an hour but hey we got light flurries and crazy wind today we really do scale is closed today so I shouldn't have to go in no flashing lights today but for some odd reason my shoulder here in the back is killing me today I sometimes it, it get these moments where it kicks in and it just seems like it's tightening all the muscles and crazy painful so I don't know how that's gonna go luckily I don't have a standard anymore where I have to like constantly shift gears right but yeah man it's whew, really killing me today now we got the strong wind coming across it's coming from the north and uh, blowing right across the, the road and it, I can feel it coming through the door here now Ay, ay, ay. And I got my steering wheel on an angle like this if you guys can see I'm trying to hold that against the wind right ah, this is gonna be a tough day I'm telling you guys it's going to be a tough day and I got to do a live show here in a little bit yet. I don't know how that's going to go, but hopefully it's going to go all right. I didn't have a video last week Sunday, so uh, I figured I'll do a live show. Because I'm seven days behind, right? So uh, I figured I'll just do a live show and Trucking Review uh, texted me uh, two days ago. I said, hey, uh, are you up for doing a live show on Sunday? I said, heck yeah. I didn't make a video. I didn't have a scheduled video, so why not? So uh, hopefully I can do it all right with my shoulder being really uncomfortable today. My plan is to use my phone today since this one does actually do 720 uh, front-facing uh, live streaming so that's much better than the other one was only doing uh, 480p and that's why I really never really did much live streaming with it because I didn't like the quality of it and so this one should be much better quality hopefully so I guess we'll uh, I don't know exactly how far I'll actually go probably uh, probably suck center Minnesota is probably where I'll end up going to and then I'll probably do a little bit of a live show over there and then uh, I might go in there and have breakfast anyways we'll see but regardless we'll hammer down and uh, hopefully you can get turn away, turn away a little bit from this crosswind hopefully it'll come from a little bit behind me not directly across right but yeah, and on to top it off, we got this cheap windshield washer fluid that the company uses, or was using up till now anyways. And so, uh, for some odd stupid reason, it froze up inside the lines. Now I got no windshield washer fluid, which is a really a bummer. So I don't know how I'm going to get, get that fixed. There's no reality, you gotta have to stay inside the shop somewhere, probably overnight, to defrost it, and then we'll have to drain it or something. So I'm really hoping by the time I get down to South Beloit, I'll be warm enough to where it will, uh, will unthaw itself, or whatever you call it, and I'll be able to use my windshield washer fluid again. I did go and uh, bought me some rubbing alcohol, and I put that in there. So to help it melt a little bit faster, but of course it's in the line, so as long as the uh, rubbing alcohol doesn't get in there, there's really no way of uh, it actually melting, right? So I don't know how, uh, how, this, how long this is gonna go on, but this really, really sucks not having windshield washer fluid. I can use my windshield wipers, but 
I have no windshield washer fluid coming out, right? So I'm, um, and it, and it actually cooled off dramatically overnight too. It was like minus five last, uh, last yesterday afternoon when I when I left, and this morning it's minus thirteen. Like with that heavy north wind, it really uh, pushed down the cold temperatures. So if you guys don't see a super clean windshield, you see spots on the window and it you know, shows up on the screen, I apologize, but it's the best I can do. I can't stop every 30 minutes and clean the windshield for you guys. I'm not going to go anywhere like that, right? So uh, I can only clean it so often whenever I pull over somewhere. So that's what we're going to have to deal with, I guess, until I get home or until it gets warm enough to where we can get uh, the lines uh, defrosted and we'll have windshield washer fluid again once I once that happens I'm guaranteeing you I'm gonna drain it and I'm gonna put some real windshield washer fluid in it it's not like I didn't put the uh, non winterized windshield washer fluid it says clearly on the bottle it's supposed to be good up to minus 35 Celsius and that's pretty cold already it's supposed to be good up to that point and here yesterday it's minus 6 and the darn thing is frozen it's like, are you kidding me? <laughs> That's crazy, you know? So I, I, I opened up the hood and I was feeling, I figured maybe it's just frozen at the end because they washed the truck, right? Like where it comes out? No, it's not even there. And I felt the hoses and I can feel inside the hoses, it's frozen solid. It's like, holy moly. So I don't think that's going to defrost anytime soon. Without having to get into a shop, but... Oh well, anyhow, hopefully it doesn't snow too much or whatever. If it's raining, that's fine, right? I don't need the windshield washer fluid for that, but if we got ice rain or snow, well, then I'll be, I'll be struggling, but we'll see. Keep my fingers crossed that we don't get inspected either, right? Because that's actually a violation too. But eh, what can I do? I didn't notice it right away when I left the yard, I noticed it later, so now I'm kind of stuck with it. We'll see what happens. Just made me a little bit of a quick pit stop here. I really had to stop and take me some Tylenol. Luckily I do have some with me. So I went and took me some Tylenol. And uh, I guess I said the STOP word again. What I was going to say, I'm going to park here in about a half an hour uh, at uh, Sock Center, Minnesota. And then I'm going to be doing my live show here and uh, my shoulder and arm are really uncomfortable. And so I figured, you know what, let me pull in here, take some Tylenol so that way maybe by the time I get over there it'll be about half an hour. They always say about half, and it takes about a half an hour for drugs to start kicking in. So I figured that's what I would do. I would take that over here, so that way by the time I get over there, half an hour later, I should start to not feel quite as much pain anymore. So hopefully that will be the case. If it is, that will be great news. And I'll be able to do my life show a little bit easier, because... I'm thinking about putting my little tripod that I have right here on the dashboard. Like, of course, I'll be parked. And, uh, and then uh, just do the live show that way. But, you know, sometimes the comments are a little hard to read when I'm doing a live show, like, on a phone because it's so small. And I might have to look a little bit closer, right? So if I lean forward, I'm going to feel my shoulder, right? So, yeah. That might be a little uncomfortable, but hey, we'll try and manage our best, uh, our best to our capabilities, right? That's the plan, anyways. Anyhow, let's go ahead and get on down over there and uh, do our live show, guys. I'm ready for it. I really am. Alrighty, time to leave this truck stop. We wasted enough time in here. We did our live show, completed all of that. Obviously, that was seven days ago. 
So now it is time to hammer down and try and get into uh, Minneapolis. Yes, indeed. Continue and as you guys can see, miles. there's already a lot of four-wheelers trying to head towards Minneapolis. I guarantee you they are all going home from all the holidays. That's what it is. I guarantee you that's what it is. Yes, indeed. But hey, we got to get in there as well and uh, make our delivery, right? No two ways about it. That's just how it goes. Yeah, we got 110 miles to go to our customers, so we got us a little ways to go yet, but at least it's not snowing anymore and it's not uh, too super crazy windy anymore. I got out and quickly used the bathroom and then I took off, but uh, yeah. So luckily we don't have any of that stuff going on right now. And meanwhile, let's hammer down and get to... Uh, Minneapolis or St. Paul I guess you could say and make my delivery and then we'll see how far I can make it tonight yet I uh, I don't think I'm gonna go too far though I think if I get up to Portage Wisconsin I think that'll be far enough for me because uh, there's supposed to be a snowstorm heading uh, towards Chicago and all that I think just past Portage is where it actually is supposed to already start so uh, I don't think I'm gonna go too much further than that because uh, I'll let that system pass and then go tomorrow morning go pick up my load in Decalp and head, head towards Calgary dispatch told me that load isn't due till Friday anyways and then Calgary so uh, I am now coming in to Minneapolis guys I am not looking forward to this part oh, but hey Keep to the left on That's how it goes. US 12 East. Yeah, I know. I gotta go into town a little bit up here in Minneapolis, and I really don't really look forward to doing that because this is a fairly big place that I'm going to, and it's got multiple entries uh, where you can go into apparently. And so it might be a little bit of a nightmare trying to get in there, but hey, we gotta do it. We gotta do it. And apparently some of the gates might be closed because it's the weekend so not every part of that business might be open so that's the other thing that's scaring me a little bit but who oh well I guess we'll go in here and uh, see what we can do right what are you guys looking at the big uh, high-rise buildings up there I am looking at those up there to the left of us up here it's a pretty nice view in all reality. It's not bad traffic today either going in here on this part. But to the left on I-94 East. Oh, will you shut up, RJ? I'm trying to make a video here. <laughs> he keeps yapping away, you know. But oh well. Anyhow, let's go find my place, guys. Look at this, guys. We got a train going by us here. Yeah, the metro train up here for uh, Minneapolis, I'm guessing. So yeah, we gotta wait till uh, we get the green light to make our turn. Hopefully this gate up here will be open. All the other gates that I've seen so far are closed. So hopefully eventually we'll get a green light here to make a left turn. Oh, there we go. So let's go see if we can find the open gate to go to our customer, right? Here we go, guys. We have just finished offloading here at this customer. That's a pretty tight corner we got to make there, so uh, now we got to try and find yeah, our I'm way out of here. Yeah, I'm going to see which way I can get out of here. I'm pretty sure I can go this way. This is the way that I came in here, right? <coughs> in 300 feet, Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Right here, I got to make a right, but... This looks pretty darn tight too. I don't know. I'm hoping I can make it. Hopefully there won't be any cars coming from the other side. Wanting to make a turn up here too, but yeah, that looks pretty tight. But luckily it's not a busy day right now, so should be alright. 
Should be getting the green light here right away. Yeah, there we go. So, luckily nobody is coming, so I can really make this really white, just like that. You see how wide I have to cut it just in order for me to make it? There we go. Yeah, so now we can head back to the 94, which is right over there, just down the road. And then uh, we can hit the 94 and start heading eastbound and down, as we like to call it. Yeah, we made it, we made it. Take the entrance to the left on I-94 East. I know, RJ, and that sun is wanting to go down again. Can you believe that shit? <laughs> yeah, it's unbelievable. Right there it is. Yep. Oh well, we got uh, 369 miles to go to make it uh, to our customer in Decalp. So we're not going to make it there tonight, I guarantee you. If we make it a little bit into Wisconsin, we're good to go, which, you know, is not that far, but I'm not too crazy about going too far tonight anyways, because first of all, my shoulder is hurting me still, and second of all, uh, it's supposed to be snowing up there, so I don't really want to go play with that snow at an empty trailer too much, right? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking, so... Anyhow, let's hit the road, hit the interstate up here, and uh, make our way to Decal. All right, you guys, we have made it up to Portage, Wisconsin. Yes, indeed, I did. And if you knew what I had here on the plate sitting right here, you'd be like, damn, this is smelling good in here. Let's show you guys all what we got in here. You ready? Here we go some of my leftover barbecue some beef rib leftover some chicken nice little salad i know this is a little bit bright there nice little salad we got us a bottle of water to drink and uh we are back in business yeah so i'm gonna have me a fantastic supper and it is not snowing out there right now so that's another bonus Plus, when I left uh, St. Paul there, I didn't even show you guys this. I tried my windshield wipers again. And I guess uh, with the engine heat and everything, it finally melted uh, from me putting that uh, rubbing alcohol in it and all that fun stuff. So that did the trick. Now we finally have windshield washer fluid again. So now I can clean my windshield again, guys. I really can. But I'm starving, guys. I'm going to have to hang it up here. I'm going to go finish my supper. And we'll talk to you guys in a bit. Well, after I ate, I got tired. And I went straight to bed. So, I didn't finish my video. But hey, I figured out, well, we'll do it this morning then, right? No big deal. No big deal. Let's just take a look on what it's doing outside of here. It's not really doing too much, is it? We got light flurries, but let me show you guys. I wanted to show you guys that this actually does work now. You see that? Now we have windshield washer fluid coming out of there. That's what I needed. Yes, indeed. Yep. But anyways, uh, we are done. We're going to go ahead and get out of here and start our new day. I looked at the uh, radar and it looks like the biggest part of the snowfall storm is past Decalp, Illinois now, so that is fantastic. That's exactly what I was waiting for, right? Yeah, that's what I was hoping that was going to happen, but I seen a couple of trucks that came in there, man, they had a lot of snow on them, a lot of snow and ice built up on them, but hey. At least I didn't have to go into it last night, right? So uh, we'll see how it goes today. But at least, you know, by now they should be working on the road, right? So uh, that's kind of what I'm thinking. But we'll see. We'll see. We'll get going here in a minute. Uh, all I got to do is finish this and then put it in the computer. And I'll be hitting the road. So, uh, yeah, I'll be on the road here in a few. And you guys will be able to see 
what it's like, right? So uh, let's get out of here. Appreciate you guys watching my today's vlog again. If you liked it, don't forget to leave me a big thumbs up and share the video. Leave a comment below and we'll see you guys on the next one. So have a great day, everybody. <laughs>